I'm Cassie from the Monrovia branch and I'm working from home today so I'm coming to you from my favorite reading spot which is my bed. Uh, so back in March when we first started staying home I was kind of in this reading slump and I just I don't know I couldn't get into anything um, normally if I, that's the case for me like a kid's book will get me out of it but even that was just too heavy um, and so I was like I just need like some smut to get me through this and so I started looking through Hoopla for um, something to read and I came across um, Kindle Ryan's Hot Jocks series which is not something that would normally be my my kind of go-to genre but um, I read one and it was about like hockey players I mean it's mostly about romance but it's um, about hockey players too and so I didn't know nothing about hockey, um, but I really like got into it. I really liked the book. I couldn't put it down. I was staying up late reading every night, and so it really got me through my um, reading slump. So I read another one of those, and then I kind of I kept finding myself reading more and more romance with the side of sports. So um, <laughs> I thought I'd introduce you guys to a few of those. So I can't show you the Kindle Ryan ones that I read um, because they're on Hoopla. Um, and I'm using my phone, which I read on to create this video. But Kendall Ryan on Hoopla, her Hot Jocks series, I read a couple of those and I enjoyed them. Um, you don't have to know anything about the sport to um, to enjoy the story. So a couple others that I read. Um, I just recently started the Bromance Book Club. So this is a series um, and the third book just came out. So they're super contemporary. These are set in Nashville which I um, enjoyed because I got to go to Nashville this year before, um, before the, you know, before the world came crashing down. Um, and this is about a, I feel like this might be hockey again. Um, but I, again, I'm not a hockey fan. I've literally never been to a hockey game, so I don't know how I keep falling into, I'm a liar. He's a baseball player. I just started this one, so I'm not very far at all. Um, I started trying to do the audio as well as the print book. Uh, it seems a little cheesy, but one thing that stood out about this one from some of the others is that it is told from the guy's perspective. So that's a little different, but I think that it's going to go back and forth between his perspective and her perspective. Um, so baseball husband and wife, trouble in paradise, um, kind of navigating that awesome setting in Nashville and baseball. Um, another one I read this year was about baseball and I really, really liked this one. This was probably my favorite, uh, but it had less, less sports, more romance, and it was more, um, more about their personalities and their connection than like just the physical part of the romance story. So um, I'm pretty sure this is on um, like the Jenna book club, um, which, and it has a very like celebrity book club feel to it. So super cute standalone novel. Um, great friendship storyline too between um Evie and her friend um who is not the love interest uh so I enjoyed that uh as well as the setting it's in Maine which I've not read a lot of books that were set there but this is a super cute one um I really really enjoyed this story so highly recommend Evie Drake starts over I read it as an ebook but obviously the print book exists too so let us know how you want to read it and we'll get you a copy um I also started Intercepted, but I haven't finished it yet either. This one has a football um, player. What I liked about this is that Marley, the uh, main character who pretty much the book starts out with her and her boyfriend breaking up, is just like really funny and like she's in this uh, football wives club, even though she's not a wife um, and she's like the the rebel of the group and she's always kind of like trying to ruffle their feathers and um and terrorize these like perfect sports wives and um so I enjoyed that part so super super cute I think there's some funny things in here that I got to um so sort of like a previous love interest comes onto the team and now she has to um kind of navigate him being in her life um as she's getting rid of this loser boyfriend that she has so um 
I didn't make it all the way through this one, but I think that I would really enjoy it if I gave it a second chance. Um, but like I said, Evie Drick was my favorite. I really enjoyed the Kendall Ryan um, Hot Jocks series. So if you are in a reading slump, because that happens to us all sometimes, try something new and don't feel bad about reading something that um, isn't very highbrow or whatever, because reading is reading and you got to get out of that slump if you want to get back to reading anything. So uh, thanks for listening. I am... Um, I'm hoping to see you guys soon. Bye.